What up, guys? It's Chris Reynolds. It is Wisdom Wednesday. And so I am excited that we have made it to halfway through the week. It is hump day. And let me tell you, man, in the West Georgia area, the rain has finally stopped. The temperatures have dropped and it feels like fall, baby. Go dogs. That's all I can say right there. But beyond that, man, I got to tell you, um, I'm excited. Just uh, I'm in a class right now called 100 Days of Greatness by uh, Buffini and Company. If you haven't heard of them, incredible, incredible people out on the West Coast. Uh, but I'm in a class with several other realtors, kind of just learning some tricks of the trade and just how to serve people and how to set yourself apart and not just be a transactional agent, but actually care about relationship. And there's something that came to mind as I was help helping facilitate this class yesterday was we have two options here. We can either be the best or be like the rest. Um, and I know that sounds a little um, ridiculous and some one of those cheesy taglines, but I started thinking, man, God has built, no matter who you are, where you are, what you do for a living, or what you plan on doing, you have a couple options. You can be uh, the status quo, or you can rise above and be the best at everything you do and, and come after it with excellence because that's what I believe God calls us to because I don't truly get on board with the thought that you and I were built to be mediocre, you know, and, and I'm not saying we have to be the greatest at everything we do, but I'm saying, man, do we attack the day? Do we seize the moment? Do we, do we win the day by being the best? Or are we just going to be like the rest? Because I don't know about you, but I believe that we are built for purpose on purpose and God has a purpose for you. And that think about it, how many millions and millions of dollars do we spend searching what that purpose is for our lives? How many people spend money going to conferences or reading books? And I got to say, man, this is an important topic for our society is figuring out what we are about, who we are about, what we are defined by, what we are called to. And when we land on where we're supposed to be, I think we got to further that question by going, Am I just like everybody else or is there something about me that I want to be set apart? Am I going to be the best or am I going to be just like the rest? And I know everybody has their Mondays. I know everybody has their tough days. And I want to say that's okay. There's many exceptions out there and you're allowed to have an off day. But every morning you get to reset, you get to start over. And I just challenge you this week, whatever it may be, whether it's being in real estate like me and my team here at the All Pro Team, whether uh, you're in the food service industry, whether you're a teacher, uh, God bless them, health, wear, health uh, care workers, you get to wake up each morning and you get a redo. There's a little bit of grace in your life. And you get to decide, today, am I going to be the best version of myself or am I going to be just like the rest? And man, I don't know about you, but I'd rather have more days where I'm the best than the days where I just kind of settle. And so seize the moment, win the day, challenge yourself, ask yourself, write down some goals. How are you going to be set apart? How are you going to be different how are you going to be the best and how are you going to serve people? It doesn't mean necessarily um, just how great you are. Because a lot of times, uh, the you know, there's something in the in scripture that says, hey, to be first, you got to be last. A lot of times we lead by serving and a lot of times we are successful by seeing other people succeed. But how can I be the best even at that how can I bring that scale of God built me for a purpose and I'm going to seize that purpose? And whatever I do, I'm going to seize it. And if you mess up, you got tomorrow. Wake up tomorrow and decide today I'm not going to just fit in the crowd. I'm going to stand out, stand up, and I'm going to move forward because I will be the best, not just like the rest.